Hello, my name is Dr. Stefan Harrison. I'm a climate scientist at Exeter University. And my research is basically on the impact of climate change on mountain glaciers around the world. I'm Dr. Karen Anderson, and I'm a remote sensing scientist from the University of Exeter. I'm Darren Jones, and I'm a PhD researcher from the University of Exeter in the UK. My research focuses on rock glaciers. And at the moment we're working in Nepal, uh, in the Khumbu Valley, on glaciers coming off Everest and other mountains, looking at the effect of climate change on these glaciers. It's quite clear that uh, many of them, many of the ice glaciers, are undergoing a transformation to debris cover glaciers. And some of those are going under on a sort of further transformation to form rock glaciers. We're working up here in the Nepalese Himalaya, collecting remote sensing data over rock glaciers. These features range in size from uh, perhaps 50 metres across to a maximum size of about 500 metres across. And that scale is not necessarily very convenient for typical remote sensing observations from space. So we're out here in the Himalayas at the moment trying to answer one of the key questions of my research, which is regarding the transition from ice glaciers through to debris cover glaciers through to rock glaciers. This is important because at the moment climate change is meaning glaciers are recession uh, around the world, um, whereas debris cover glaciers and rock glaciers are more insulated against solar insulation, so they melt much more slowly and they also contain quite a lot of ice, which is then obviously useful for water downstream or later on in future climate change adaption. So what we're doing here in Nepal is we're using cameras attached to kites to collect new data. We need to be close to the features to gather data at fine spatial resolution such that we can answer questions about uh, the, the sedimentary characteristics of the surface of the rock glaciers. We're trying to answer this question using CAP, so kite aerial photography to get fine-grained understanding as well as traditional methods such as lichenometry and class analysis to find out what processes drive the transition of ice glaciers into rock glaciers and why some do transition and others don't. We're using structure from motion photogrammetry to process those data um, and to generate a really high resolution um, fine-grained three-dimensional models of these uh, rock glacier surfaces. Um, what well, answers to really are the you know the, tra the, the speed at which these things the, this transition occurs, why some glaciers undergo this transition and not others, and what this means for for our attempts to try to understand uh, future water, water supplies uh, in, in many of the mountain valleys uh, surrounding the Himalayas. <laughs>